The impacts of the siege in Gaza is catastrophic. It is really catastrophic. It actually killed people. We're not talking about just siege that restricts the movement of people in Gaza and the movement of goods. It's actually killed people in Gaza. Thousands of people died in Gaza over the past 17 years because of this siege, including my mother, who was denied to receive a treatment for cancer and she eventually succumbed to her wounds and she died. My family were sleeping in their home. Uh, there was my father, my th three sisters, two brothers, my cousin, and 14 nieces and nephews. They were sleeping in my home in the 22nd of October when Israel bombed my home and killed all of my family members. The siege is a crime. It is a crime according to the international law. It is collective punishment. But the problem here is that the Western governments and many other governments in the region are complicit in the war crimes against the Palestinian people by allowing the continuation of this illegal blockade on Gaza. So please do more work because you're reporting can kill. I always blame the Western media for the murder of my family because the Western media provided Israel with the cover, with the atmosphere to do the bombing of the Palestinians, to do the indiscriminate killing of the Palestinians. There's a genocide happening there and you need to do more work. You need to do more because if this war doesn't stop, unfortunately, you will be complicit. Some groups, some people, are challenging their governments and they're taking a political stance in order to break the siege that is imposing Gaza for the past 18 years. One of these ways is the freedom flotillas. Right now, it is a crucial, it is imperative that people from all around the world join this endeavor and try their best to break the siege on Gaza.